Number 10. Diona Young While working as the manager at an Arby's location in Oklahoma, 25-year-old Diona Young fired a gun at a customer's car, leading to a fatal crash. The incident occurred on March the 23rd of 2019, after Young and Deshaun Talent, also 25, got into an argument in the restaurant's drive through The altercation culminated with the angry customer cursing and spitting at Young before driving away. Later that night, Talent reportedly returned to the store, leading the manager to believe that he'd come back to attack her. However, members of the young man's family later testified in court that he'd returned in order to get his food order fixed. At the sight of Talon approaching the restaurant, Young brandished a firearm and opened fire on his vehicle, striking him in the torso. The wounded driver consequently lost control of his car and crashed into a Walmart located nearby. Although Talent was still alive when first responders arrived, he ultimately died from his critical injuries. In order to avoid the more severe charge of murder, Young pleaded guilty to first-degree manslaughter on January the 13th of 2020. She was sentenced to 25 years in prison in order to pay restitution to the victim's family in the amount of $150,000. Number 9. Corey Pujols Florida man Corey Pujols, the manager of a Dunkin' Donuts in Tampa, brutally beat an unruly patron who'd racially harassed him on May the 5th of 2021. The altercation was initiated when Vonnell Cook, a regular customer who was described as regularly troublesome and abusive, began complaining about the service and began hurling racial epithets at 27-year-old Pujols. Cook was subsequently warned not to repeat the offensive insult but refused to comply and proceeded to use the same pejorative term two more times. At that point, Pajols reportedly lost his temper at the senior citizen and launched a physical attack on him. Cook collapsed and hit his head on the floor after the irate manager rained blows down upon him. When emergency responders arrived at the scene, they rushed the injured man to the hospital. There, it was determined that he'd sustained a skull fracture and a brain contusion, and he was ultimately pronounced dead three days later. Although Pujols was initially charged with aggravated manslaughter in connection to his deadly outburst, he later accepted a plea bargain for felony battery and was thus sentenced to just two years of house arrest. Number 8. Mary Dalton On July the 29th of 2015, Mary Dalton, the night manager of a Philadelphia KFC and Taco Bell restaurant known as Ken Taco Bell orchestrated a robbery at her own store. In a fake police report filed in the aftermath of her fraud, the 32-year-old woman claimed that she and an 18-year-old employee had been robbed at gunpoint, resulting in the alleged thieves getting away with $2,800. Investigators suspected wrongdoing on the part of Dalton after noting certain inconsistencies in her story and discovering the surveillance camera had coincidentally malfunctioned the same night as the supposed robbery. Upon facing further questioning, the night manager couldn't offer any reasonable explanations as to the specific manner in which the store had been broken into, and she ultimately admitted to committing the robbery herself. Dalton was consequently charged with theft, but no further information related to the case was released to the public as of August of 2015. Number 7. Erica Chavoya on July the 26th of 2018, Erica Chaboya, a McDonald's department manager in Las Vegas, Nevada, got into a fist fight with an unruly customer named Sabrina Fontelar. The 24-year-old manager's mother, Anna, who was present at the scene, recorded the entire incident on her cell phone. Fontelar had allegedly tried to use a cup of water she had requested at the counter to secretly procure a free soft drink, prompting Chaboya to turn off the soda fountain. The customer then became belligerent and hostile. The video recording showed her throwing fries and a milkshake at Chavoya, who eventually lost her patience after Fontala insulted her weight and made degrading remarks about her mother. The enraged manager slammed the young woman's head against the table and threw her around the store before another employee eventually broke up the fight. Because the video captured the moments preceding Chavoya's blow up, she was reportedly allowed to keep her job while Fontelar was charged with battery. 
Number 6. Alia Vasquez A Dollar Tree assistant manager from New Jersey was recorded assaulting an unidentified customer following a heated argument on May the 26th of 2022. The 29-year-old assailant, identified as Alia Vasquez, was shown in the 13-minute video attacking a male patron with pepper spray, punching him repeatedly and pulling him by the hair as she dragged him out of the store. The man could be heard begging Vasquez to let go of him, raising his hands and promising not to retaliate with further violence. Upon reaching the front door of the store, Vasquez threw the customer to the floor while other employees attempted to intervene on his behalf. It was at that point the police arrived at the scene and apprehended Vasquez, who was consequently charged with aggravated assault. Although the victim escaped without any major injuries, he did sustain a minor laceration to the eye, which he reportedly received treatment for in the aftermath. Number 5. Darnell Penn On October the 22nd of 2019, former Five Guys manager Darnell Penn was arrested for skipping bail on assault and kidnapping charges filed in Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. Penn had been on the run since skipping his scheduled court appearance earlier that month. He was reportedly accused of coercing young employees at the restaurant he managed into performing lewd acts. In one such encounter, he'd allegedly locked one of his subordinates in his car in the parking lot outside, threatening to fire her if she didn't comply. Penn had an accusation from a worker at a Philadelphia McDonald's he'd previously worked at who claimed he'd tried to coax her into sending him inappropriate pictures back in 2019. He was eventually tracked down to a hideout in Kennesaw, Georgia, where a brief standoff ensued. Although Penn initially refused to open the door or let any of the three people residing in the apartment leave, he eventually surrendered following a brief negotiation. Further charges were then added to his indictment, including obstruction, giving a false name and unlawful imprisonment. Number 4. Danisha Renee Jackson A 20-year-old employee at a Dollar General store in Texas was killed during a robbery gone awry on December the 17th of 2017. The victim, identified as Dequan Dante Anderson, had recently moved from Louisiana to the Houston area, where he got the position of shift leader at the store where the incident ultimately occurred. On the day of Anderson's death, the store's assistant manager, named as Danisha Renee Jackson, aged 28, had tasked him with depositing $2,800 in the bank, a task usually performed by another employee. Jackson allegedly plotted to have another woman, Kyla Alexine Nelson, carry out a robbery of her own store's money. Nelson was provided with a physical description and photographs of the bag in which the money would be transported. However, when Anderson refused to surrender the bag to her, she shot him four times, fatally injuring him before fleeing the scene. Detectives investigating the case were led to the duo of Jackson and Nelson due to witness testimonies and cell phone records. While she was being interrogated, Jackson revealed that her cut had only been $500. She was consequently sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole on April the 2nd of 2022 after the jury deliberated for less than an hour. The same sentence Nelson had received six months earlier. Number 3. Danny Presti A Staten Island bar manager was arrested on December the 1st of 2020 after having fled from justice. The suspect, identified as 37-year-old Danny Presti, had allegedly refused to stop seating customers at his bar, Max Public House, indoors, even after being warned by police that doing so would violate COVID-19 prevention measures. When officers of the NYPD attempted to take him into custody, the manager fled the scene with a policeman reportedly clinging to the hood of his vehicle. Presti was also accused of hitting a deputy's cruiser before he was finally detained. This wasn't the first occasion in which Presti had been arrested for similar charges either. The bar proudly published news of both incidents, declaring itself an autonomous zone and accusing the police of trying to bully them into submission. The owners lost their liquor license after making a challenging Facebook post in which they stated in part, We will not back down. You have not scared us. 
The world is watching and it's time for everyone to wake up. Today's topic was requested by Dovemaster, divinely created for him, Real Hill, Terrorblade, Foul Fell YT, and Nikki12787. If you have any other topics you'd like to learn about, subscribe and let us know in the comments section below. Number 2. Anthony Graham In January of 2018, rapper Dimitri Leslie Roger better known by the stage name Rich the Kid, was questioned by investigators after being involved in a violent argument with flight attendants on his American Airlines flight. Roger had reportedly attempted to use the bathroom on the plane after the craft had already initiated landing procedures. The rapper was told to get back in his seat, at which point his manager, 28-year-old Anthony Graham, intervened on his behalf. Graham began arguing with the cabin crew and allegedly became hostile towards a flight attendant, threatening to cut her head off. Upon the plane's arrival at Los Angeles International Airport, both Roger and his manager were taken in for questioning by the authorities. However, only the latter ended up being arrested on charges of misdemeanor criminal threats. In the incident's aftermath, Roger uploaded a video to his social media accounts, in which he accused police and airline staff of racial profiling. He encouraged his social media followers not to use American Airlines and shared a recording that showed a police officer ordering him to put away his phone. Number 1. Dania Shea Glennis Foboda and Jocelyn Montrenice Bryant Florida wedding caterer Jocelyn Montrenice Bryant and bride Dania Shea Glennis Foboda were arrested on February the 19th of 2022 for allegedly conspiring to serve guest food laced with illegal substances. According to attendants, the two women had injected the drugs into both the lasagna and dessert dishes, including pudding shots and chocolate-covered strawberries. Police were called to the scene after multiple guests reportedly fell ill, with one woman suffering a panic attack and several more being taken to the hospital with varying symptoms. Miranda Cady, one of the attendants, told detectives that she had confronted Svoboda after all of the party-goers reacted adversely to the food at the same time. She accused the bride of having expressed excitement regarding the seemingly unfavorable situation. Katie reported feeling like her heart was going to explode and even texted herself to inform family members of what had happened to her in the event that she passed away. Investigators retrieved samples of food and silverware and examined a number of the wedding's 50 attendees in search of illegal substances, including marijuana. Each of the tests reportedly came back positive and invitees agreed to press charges against both Bryant and Svoboda after their misguided attempt to enliven the latter's special day was uncovered. The two suspects were arrested on counts of misdemeanor, culpable negligence as well as food tampering. Thanks for watching. Would you rather trade places with your manager or get one year of paid leave? Let us know in the comments section below.